The Denver Broncos had six selections in the NFL draft and orchestrated their draft exactly how you would expect every pro team to do so. I thought the Broncos did a great job of acquiring talent from start to finish, even down to six round pick wide receiver Jawan Winfrey out of Colorado, who helps them out immediately on special teams. Now, what I liked most about the Broncos draft was just that the entire draft with each pick. Denver landed a top-notch prospect at a position of need. They got arguably the best tight end in the draft in Noah Fant out of Iowa, just strengthening what they already have on the roster at that position. Dalton Reisner out of Kansas State was one of the top offensive linemen in college, and he helps strengthen their offensive line as a day one starter, in my opinion. Also in round two, they grabbed quarterback Drew Locke out of Missouri as a prospect that they don't have to rush into action behind quarterback Joe Flacco. Locke is a really good player that got better over his 2017 season this past year. Draymond Jones out of Ohio State was one of the more versatile interior defensive linemen in the class and gives Denver a lot of flexibility up front. And I was impressed with outside line backer Justin Hollins out of Oregon down at the East-West Shrine game where he won game MVP, but his tape just backed up what we saw from him that entire week. A stout run defender with great upside as a pass rusher, this was a fantastic haul all the way around. Kelvin McKnight was one of the more polished receivers coming out of the FCS ranks. He's quick and explosive in all directions and is coming out of a passing offense at Sanford that should help his transition to the NFL go much smoother than most. I really like this fit here in Denver for Brett Rippon, a quarterback out of Boise State. He was one of the more efficient QBs in the draft class and should compete for that QB3 role with Kevin Hogan and all things being considered, it's Rippon's job to lose in my opinion. Another Samford Bulldog and Amad Gooden, who was one of the more feared pass rushers in the FCS. He was a two-time All-American and a finalist for the Buck Buchanan Award, which is given to the top defensive player in the FCS. He's got the ability to dip his shoulder, turn a corner, and then accelerate to the quarterback. And Trinity Benson was one of the standouts at the College Gridiron Showcase back in January. He has good ability on the outside, having a variety of ways to get himself open, free off the line of scrimmage, and get downfield to make a play. I gave the Broncos an A-plus for their draft from every pick during the rounds, and even in the undrafted free agent department, the Broncos got better as a team this past April.